Girl, girl, honey, we are back with updates about Courtney. If you guys don't remember, a couple of days ago, we did a report on Courtney. Rest in peace. 32 years old, a mother of four, three girls and one boy. And they had to hear the sounds of their mom being taken out of here by her own ex-boyfriend. Now, I don't know if they were current or not, but a lot of people did not understand or knew why, why would he do that? We saw video footage, it was everywhere. It was on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, you name it. Some people were like, why is this on social media? It was so graphic, you saw the sounds, you saw her take her last breath. It was something serious and it's so sick that social media still has that video up today. Well, let me tell you what I saw in that video because I'm not gonna post it here. I saw Courtney, she was going up to a house, okay? It's all on video camera. She was going up to a house out of nowhere, like a thief in the night, the devil with a hoodie came up. He had on like on a gray track suit and he had on a hoodie and he was real tall. He came out of the darkness, girl. So she realized and she said, oh no, please, please. She was screaming. She was screaming and she was begging, please, please not here. Please not in front of my kids. Honey, that man did not care. It was as if uh, the devil himself was inside of him and he could not stop what he was about to do. So he takes out his pow pow, but guess what? It jammed, it jammed, it jammed and everybody saw it on video camera. And she's still just trying to cover herself with her hands and just saying, please, 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 I beg you, please. She was pleading for her life. And he took it out and he emptied the whole clip. He emptied the whole clip. He did not give her mercy. He did not give her grace. He emptied the whole clip. It was like, wow. Then he ran like a thief in the night and he disappeared into the darkness. He really did, he disappeared into the darkness and all you saw was her on the ground and you seen her, her last breath, you know? And it was just so sad to see. And did you know that her sister that was younger than her were taken out a couple of months before in May in Atlanta. What is going on? What, you know what? It's been a minute since I've been talking about these topics, but I feel like we need to continue to talk about them and I need my audience. I need my party crashers here that support me talking about these type of topics. I need you guys support, I can't do it alone. And talking about these topics are very dangerous because these kings, is very dangerous, honey, okay? So a lot of people wanted to know, well, why did he do it? It don't matter why, he did it and it was horrible. You know, nobody deserves that, I don't care. It's no excuse, it is no excuse. Well, people were starting to make up a lot of stuff on social media, it was a lot of speculation. One of the speculations were that she tried to set him up. I don't know if it's true, you know social media lies, but it's a lot of people that know a lot of people that talk on social media, all right? Then it was another thing where they were saying um, he was her boyfriend and he got locked up and she stole his money. Then people are saying, well, we don't know. It's always two sides to the story. So I came across this article and this article, girl, you're not gonna believe what they're saying. <laughs> You not gonna believe what they're saying out here. And we have heard this before. We have heard this before. They are saying in this article, I don't know how true it is. You guys know me, I'm gonna tell you the truth. I don't know how true it is, but I seen in the article and I thought it was worthy of a replay and for us to talk about this. They are saying that it was because she exposed that he had dealing with another man. She was exposing that he was out here messing with another man, messing with a zesty man, honey. Yes, yes, and he could not allow her 
or anybody else to be putting that dangerous rumor out there on him, honey, because the truth hurts. The truth hurts. So he did what he did and he took all out because at the end of the day, his ego is way more important than anybody's life. And that is how a lot of these individuals operate. Their ego is, is way more important. Their reputation to be this uh, masculine presenting, this heterosexual, that reputation is way more important than anybody life, you know? Um, and that is society we live in and it's sad, but this is what they're reporting. So I want to discuss this with you all. I wanna look at it with you all and I want you guys to chime in. I want you guys to comment in the comment section. I want to know what you guys think about this, okay? Now, I got this news report. I put the credit below because I forgot the name, okay? <laughs> I forgot the name. So let's see what they have to say, okay? Your old Courtney Reese, her aunt tells us she was a mother of four and was still alive when EMS arrived, but she later died at the scene. The shooting happened around 9 last night on Springside Drive. It's still unclear what led to the shot. Uh, shots being fired. Atlanta police are still investigating. Just three months ago, Travis Edwards was grappling with the heartbreaking loss of his daughter, Symmetria Edwards, who was tragically killed by a stray bullet at a family member's repass. In a cruel twist of fate, almost exactly three months to the day after Symmetria's death, tragedy struck the Edwards family again. On August 20th, Edwards lost another daughter, 32-year-old Courtney Reese. Unlike her sister's death, Courtney's was not the result of a random act of violence. It is believed that her ex-boyfriend, whom she had outed as being gay, retaliated in the most violent way imagined. Did you hear that? Press one if you heard that. So you know I'm not making this up. This is what I'm getting from the sources. They are saying it's because she outed him as being with another man. Now, the sister, because it was rumors that her demise was in relationships with her younger sister that passed away a couple of months ago but they said that has nothing to do with it the sister that passed away a couple of months ago i guess it was random but this was not random this is very passionate this was very personal at the front doorsteps while her kids were inside listening people were saying well you know what why didn't they open the door? Well, if they opened the door, he could have took out the kids too. And I'm sure she wouldn't want her kids to be taken out. I mean, I don't know why they wouldn't open the door. Maybe they were afraid. I mean, if they opened the door, do you really think that's gonna stop a monster from taking you out of here? He was waiting in the bushes. He was waiting behind the car in the dark. It was a setup. He knew that she was coming home. I don't know if that was her home, but she, he knew that she was coming to that place because he knew that the kids was in there. Now, he didn't want them kids. If he wanted them kids, he would have came after them kids. But if she would have went in there using her kids as a, uh, 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 like a protection, he would have took them kids out too. Yeah, he would have took them kids out too. And maybe it's a blessing that she did not go in that house because if she would have went in the house trying to hide behind them kids, thinking them kids was going to give a demon, um, make a demon feel like sympathetic. No, these demons don't feel. They ain't sympathetic to none of that. Okay, they take them kids out too. And we know that because we have seen the reports. Let's not play these games. Let's not be naive. Let's not act core here, okay? So it may be, have been a blessing that they did not open that door. Now, the dots in there, I don't know the dots. They said, I believe the daughter was 13, the son was 11, and some of the kids. So I don't know. I don't know if the kids were home by themselves. I have no idea. All right, but let's continue on. Imaginable. Waiting until she was alone outside, he shot her several times in a cold-blooded act of vengeance. Compounding the horror of this situation, Courtney's children were just on the other side of the door, forced to hear the dreadful sounds of their mother being gunned down. This horrific event underscores the lethal consequences of disclosing deeply personal and sensitive information, casting a shadow over a family already burdened with unbearable grief. 
The agony and anger felt by the Edwards family highlight the destructive impact of revenge and betrayal, leaving irreversible scars on all involved. Welcome to the American Crime Femicide channel. Mm. Please like, share, subscribe. All right, so we have the channel, the American Crime Femicide channel. Now, do you guys want me to continue to do reporting and reactions from this channel? If you do, press five. We need the support, we do. If you guys want me going to this direction, I need to hear from you. Is your keyboard broke? Is your fingers broke? No, it's not. So, come on. And hit the notification bell for future uploads. Courtney was a devoted mother of four living in Conyers, Georgia. Her life, though peppered with social gatherings and parties, truly revolved around her children. Hmm. She was deeply involved in every aspect of their schooling, home life, and care. As a single mother, she worked tirelessly, supporting her family solely on her earnings. Following the tragic loss of her sister Symmetria in May, Courtney resolved to straighten out her life, distancing herself from any situations that might bring harm. Tragically, it was her decision to quietly end her relationship with her boyfriend that is believed to have led to her brutal murder. Social media was ablaze with claims from individuals asserting they were related to court. Ain't it sad? Ain't it? It's always the boyfriends. It's always the husband. Ooh, wee. Ooh, girl is sad. Me, stating that her ex-boyfriend, known as Big Underscore Derek Fr on Instagram, had been aggressively searching for her. Recently released from jail, he was reportedly desperate to settle scores with Courtney after she disclosed to friends that Derek was secretly involved with men, despite publicly identifying as straight. This revelation, once it reached Derek, triggered a deadly response. On the night of August 20th, he ambushed her, his gun initially jammed as Courtney pleaded for her life. Mm. Her pleas were ignored, and she was shot over 10 times before he fled the scene. Recently, it's been so much violence against women. It's like we're just, they're just being unprotected. Atlanta police responded to Springside Drive on Tuesday night just before 9 to find Reese suffering from gunshot wounds. A ring. Ain't it something? They saying that women are being unprotected, but the women are getting with these men that are unaliving them. At this point, just be single. Did I lie? At this point, be single. I mean, you got kids, focus on just being a mom and leave these dating alone. Leave it alone, okay? Mm -mm. It's too much. Ring cam video is now making its way through social media, appearing to show the moment her life was taken. The horrifying final moments of her life were captured on video and once made public, drove her family to address and correct speculations swirling around her death. A purported cousin of Courtney expressed frustration online. Y'all speaking on shit and don't know shit. Dude got caught having sex with another man. My little cousin exposed him. He was her boyfriend. In a heart-wrenching off-air interview, the family expressed their belief that her killer was a former intimate partner and expressed their urgent hope that he would be apprehended before claiming more lives. With no arrests made and scant details emerging about the suspect, the allegations remain unconfirmed, yet the family is certain the man in the video is her ex-boyfriend. This appalling incident underscores a disturbing trend of violence triggered by revelations concerning sexual orientation. While betraying a partner's secret is undeniably harmful, there should be a foundational respect and openness in relationships that allows for honest discussions about sexual orientation without fear of retribution. Unfortunately, respect and open communication are often absent in these dynamics, with fatal consequences all too common. In this case, murder was the grim outcome, leaving four children without their mother and a family reeling from a second loss in just three months. She was a vibe, the life of the party. Her infectious smile Fine. is keeping her grieving family's spirit high. She was everybody's hype man. She was everybody's cook. 
Courtney Reese remembered tonight with Purple Balloons, music, and love. It's a party. It's a celebration like she would have had any other day. Lena is Courtney's older sister. She didn't deserve this. Her kids will miss her, her sisters, her brother her dad, her mom. The 32-year-old shot 10 times at this home along Springside Drive south of Cleveland Avenue Tuesday night. Flowers are now in the place she took her last breath. In a video too graphic to play, Courtney pleads with someone before shots are fired. That person ran away. No arrests have been made. Her life was cut short, but the children still are here. They still gotta be provided for. Courtney leaves behind three girls, just 13, nine and six years old, and an 11-year-old son. She was a great mother and we want them to have everything that we knew that she was going to do for them. Their life is her legacy. Courtney was joy. She was love. She was a protector. She was, you know, a provider. In a heartfelt post tinged with profound sadness, her sister shared, I just want my sister back. I can't stop driving and crying. That video, hearing her pled to that monster and gasping for her last breath, I just keep replaying it. I don't want to talk to anyone. I don't want to be around anyone. I just want to curl up and cry all day. I miss hearing her call my phone, teasingly saying, stupid, what are you doing? And me replying, I'm at work, girl, and her saying, oh, I forgot. She had just called me yesterday morning, talking about being downtown. We were laughing about what was going on down there. If I had known yesterday was going to be the last time I talked to her, I would have stayed on the phone longer. But I told her I was at work and I'd call her back once my store cleared. Lord, Jesus, why? On August 23rd, amidst the profound sorrow, friends and family gathered for a balloon release to mourn Courtney's passing and celebrate the vibrant life she lived. The bittersweet gathering served as a tribute to the moments of joy she shared with those she loved even as they grappled with the tragic circumstances of her loss. As we mourn Courtney Reese's tragic death and consider the complex layers of personal and societal issues that contributed to this tragedy, let us hold her family in our thoughts and prayers during this profoundly difficult time. Rest in peace, Courtney Reese. May her story serve as a stark reminder of the dire consequence it yeah rest in peace so right now what i would love to do i would love to look at the comments we want to dive into these comments on this video just to see what the people have to say shall we make sure you guys like share and subscribe to this youtube channel the messy sweet spot i am gg xoxo stop ladies stop exposing these dudes just leave i absolutely agree it's not worth your life if you notice your man or you have a hunch that your man is doing anything inappropriate that does not um, go with your values or your morals, just leave. Whether that's him cheating with a woman or a man or whoever, it does not align with your morals or your values. Don't cut yourself short. I mean, this guy, he was in and out of jail. But, you know, some women, they okay with dating those type of guys. Um, but they are a high risk, you know? And this was in Atlanta. And you already know what they say about Atlanta. It is a high risk. Um, so I agree with this statement. Uh, don't expose, just walk away. 
Um, don't say I'm leaving you because I caught you in, in this situation with that person or that person. Just get out of there, you know, <laughs> get out. I mean, this is your life, especially if he is a jailbird, you know, he's a dangerous man. You know, he does horrible things to others. How he did that to her, he has took another people out of here. Make no mistake about it. This was not his first time taking someone out. Um, so if you know you are dealing with killers, you know you are dealing with thieves and robbers, you know you are dealing with criminals and you want to leave, the best thing is just to disappear, okay? Because you are dealing with some um, evil people and you guys know that you're getting involved with evil men. Even though you hope he's not evil towards you, but he has a horrible past, okay? So it says four children with no mother or loving father now. Yeah, that's so sad. Um, I hope this family gets justice, yeah, but you already know how that goes. You know, crime is at an all time high. These criminals know they're not getting caught and they're getting right back in the streets. They know that, we know that and they know it too. Um, a lot of these men today are disgusting, okay? Uh, stop exposing them. So this is another one. Stop exposing them and just leave them. This is happening a lot of these days. Sad that this, them for exposing them. Okay, so basically she's just saying the same thing. You know, don't expose anybody. Leave. Your life is at stake. It's not worth it. You exposing that man, is it really worth your life? Is it really worth it? And you underestimate them so, so much. You, you feel like, oh, okay, you know, he's gay, he's soft. And when I expose him, he's going to be more soft and he's not going to do anything but cry. What do you really think is going to happen when you expose a man of that caliber? Do you think he's just going to cry about it and just feel depressed about it? Do you think he's going to go to church and change his ways? No, he's going to lash out. I mean, these individuals, they're very emotional. They're very highly triggered. And all they know is taking people out of here. They're very angry. Okay. They're angry because they've been told that they have to cosplay a heterosexual character uh, since they were a child. They're, they're angry because they cannot live in their truth, in their society, how they were brought up. They were traumatized by expressing who they were, you know? Um, so they have a lot of built in anger, you know, and they trying to do the right thing according to society but it does not align with their nature. And shit, you got some that are, that are going both ways, you know? Unfortunately, you know, these guys um, from the beginning of history has always had a history with taking women out. Um, no matter what's the reasoning, you know? Uh, back in the day, if you cheated on a man, he had the right to take you out. Back in those days, a man had a right to hit you if he was your husband. So men in the patriarchy has a long history of taking women out uh, for a no number of reasons when it's dating or relationship or marriage. So you just wanna be very careful and realize we are still living in the world of the patriarchy you know these guys they see you as less than and they will always see you as less than they don't see you and value you the way you think that you should be valued and and that goes with the guys that you are choosing as, as well you know um so let's continue on atlanta this tells me all i need to know this is why when i lived there i never dated Okay, so there you have it. And um, you hear this from a lot of people. Um, come on now, Atlanta, uh, don't even visit Atlanta. Okay, so I mean, it's the same thing. People are saying it was so many signs 
uh, not to get involved with this individual and for you to try, you know, I, it's no excuse. It's no excuse. He should not have done that at all. We're not excusing that. It's wrong. But what we are trying to do, we're trying to prevent you from being in situations like that when you are dealing with the demons. We are trying to prevent you from aligning yourself with demons, okay? So that's the only way we can tell you is don't play with them at all. Stay out of their zones, okay? Yes, they will come to you, they'll lie to you, they'll trick you. You have to have discernment. Look at their track record. If this individual is doing crimes, if this individual is a liar, and if he is a crime, he does crime, he lies. If he's in and out of jail, he lies. His integrity is not high. So why align yourself with someone with low integrity if yours are high? It doesn't make sense. You have to align yourself with people with the same morals and values and a telltale if they're lying. You know, and a lot of these robbers and th thieves, they have low integrity. And if that's not you, get away, <laughs> get away. It's just as simple. Um, and they already told you about Atlanta. If he lives in Atlanta or stays in Atlanta, I'm not saying it's, it's the truth, but, um, you've hear that all the time. So, you know, um, if you live in Atlanta, you should just assume they're all DL. So we, we constantly going to hear that. So that's why I'm repeating that. I'm not saying it's true, but that is what people are saying out here. So I'm going to get on out of here. I hope that you guys enjoyed my commentary on this. If you guys want me to do more commentary on these type of topics, I need your support. Make sure you guys like, share, and subscribe to this YouTube channel, The Messy Sweet Spot. I am Gigi XOXO. And until then, I will see you guys on another upload, okay? Bye.